Every year in August or September in the nursery, we get phone calls from customers who are absolutely staggered to find that their magnolias are flowering again at the end of the summer or in the early part of the autumn. And more to the point, very often the flowers that come, the secondary flowers, are actually a different colour to the, to the ones that the flowers had when, when the tree was flowering with no leaves on in the spring. And I'm standing here behind, beside Magnolia Todd's 49er, um, which was one of the very first magnolias to come out in the spring. It was showing colour here in January, was probably full out in mid-February. And then the flowers were a much darker colour than they are now. Probably more like this bud up here, which is uh, just showing a sort of darker purple colour. But as you can see, when the flowers open, they faded and they're a much lighter colour than, uh, than they were in the spring. Obviously, with the leaves, uh, the flowers are not so obvious. And, you know, there are times when you wouldn't be necessarily looking at a magnolia and expecting to see a flower in August or September um, and not every magnolia does this. So let's just go into this phenomenon and, and try to understand why it is that some magnolias do this. And it boils down really to parentage and anything that has Liliflora nigra as a species or anything that has Magnolia sulangiana as a species in its parentage um, is capable of throwing these secondary flowers. You often see pure Magnolia sulangiana and you often see pure Magnolia Liliflora nigra doing it. Um, just the, sometimes just the odd secondary flower here or there rather than being a moderately good show as we've got with Todd's 49er. And the secret to Todd's 49er is that one of its parents is Magnolia sulangiana rouge d'alabaster and that's where the sulangiana has got into the breeding and parentage and that's why it's capable of doing this peculiar thing. Here's another magnolia that uh, usually has flowers in the autumn and usually has quite a few of them. And this is uh, Magnolia March Till Frost. And the name's a bit of a giveaway because that's exactly what you should expect from this plant, which is a, a normal flush of flowering in March and then quite a few flowers on into the autumn. This is one of the Gresham hybrids. And Todd Gresham was a great breeder of magnolias in America in the 50s and 60s. And he bred literally scores and scores of what are now known as the Gresham hybrids. And what he was doing was crossing Magnolia cylindrica, Magnolia vicii, and Magnolia sulangiana back with the great Asiatic uh, Chinese magnolias, such as Sprengeri diva, Sargentiana robusta, Campbelli. And because Liliflora and Sulangiana were used in the parentage of a lot of his uh, hybrids, you start to see this uh, secondary flowering appearing in quite a few of the Gresham hybrids, by no means all, but quite a few of them. And this is uh, Magnolia cylindrica, crossed with Magnolia Liliflora, and you can see the evidence of Liliflora. Here, uh, the, the flowers are actually a bit darker in the autumn than they were in the spring, although that'll fade. And unfortunately, we will get slugs and snails climbing up the plant and rather enjoying these luscious and juicy flowers as they come out. But it's nothing to see flowers on this tree as it almost until it loses its leaves, sometimes in November or even early, early December in a very mild autumn. And the till, March till frost bit means exactly that. Perhaps the best known uh, of all magnolias for flowering, not just twice, but sometimes three times in the year, is Magnolia Star Wars. And this was a, a New Zealand bred hybrid. And as you now would expect, 
Its parents are Magnolia Campbelli and Magnolia Lilliflora nigra. And it's very strange uh, not to see several flowers out from about mid-August through it again onto Christmas when the tree loses its leaves. We've only got a couple of decently sized flowers showing up today in August, but we'll look at this plant again in this video in a month's time, and I bet you there'll be a lot more flowers then. It's noticeable that the flowers are a lighter colour um, than they were in the spring on, on Magnolia Star Wars. But if you want uh, another magnolia to be certain of getting a secondary flowers on, Star Wars is the one to be growing. And we have one customer in Cornwall who's planted a whole avenue of magnolia Star Wars with about 70 or 80 plants uh, so that they can enjoy magnolias driving down their drive in the autumn. And already it's quite a sight um, in September and October. So here we've got another uh, New Zealand bred magnolia uh, bred by Vance Hooper and this one is called Magnolia Cleopatra and you can see that it's a really dark colour um, arguably actually darker than, than the flowers were in the spring and there's a few flowers which are open right at the top of the right at the top of the tree which I'm afraid the slugs have had a bit of a go at but even when they open fully out, they're not fading very much. And here again, the, the clue is in the parentage. This is Magnolia Soulangiana, sweet simplicity, crossed with Magnolia Black Tulip. And it's really more of a black tulip-like flower that we're seeing uh, in this second attempt at flowering on Magnolia Cleopatra. Magnolia Black Tulip, which is possibly one of the most popular magnolias of the last 15 years and undoubtedly one of the best occasionally has a, a secondary flower but it's not a guaranteed secondary flower with us um, and again that's down to parentage or, and the quirks of nature but actually that's this is a really very attractive plant um, putting on a good show um, at a time when you don't really expect to be seeing very many magnolias and certainly not spring flowering ones so this is a real peculiarity because it, it doesn't put on secondary flowers every year, but this is only the second time I've seen it do it. This is Magnolia times Loebneri, um, and there are many forms of times Loebneri, um, which flower again in the spring and they're white. And here we've got quite a little set of white, whitish flowers with a bit, a little bit of pink in them. Um, coming out here in August. But when we look closely, there are quite a few buds, um, which are not next spring's buds. They're buds that are gonna come out, you know, in September or October. Now, this is not common or normal for Magnolia Loebneri, or certainly not, not down in Cornwall, it isn't. Um, but it's a bonus. <laughs> no one can argue with a plant that flowers twice a year. How often do customers say to us, oh, well, how long is your magnolia out for? I suppose it's only a week or 10 days. Well, when you can reply, actually, it's probably going to flower twice in the year, they look at you a bit old-fashioned because not that many plants do that. 